Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Megan is eyeing up an incredible dollar two seven million waterfront dream home for her move to Canada with Harry and baby Archie. LMT Chow can reveal the stunning six nine hundred square foot Megan Mansion is in the most prestigious areas of West Vancouver, offering breathtaking views across the ocean to the city skyline. It has six bedrooms and five bathrooms across four floors with full length panoramic windows, making the most of its elevated beachside position. And privacy, vital to the breakaway royals, is guaranteed by gates, manicured screen hedges, and a 20-foot beachside walls at the rear. An estate agent source in Canada said, Megan has expressed an interest in this beautiful house. It would be perfect for her, Harry and Little Archie. The neighborhood is no a haven for wealthy people and has a very laid back atmosphere. I'm sure they would be very happy there and they would be welcomed with open arms. A Vancouver based property source said, The house is a real gem in Kitsilano one of the most desirable neighborhoods in Vancouver. The area is particularly sought after by super, rich, and image-conscious young achievers. Desirable neighborhood? It's close to Kitsilano Beach, which is a very cool spot that does stuff like beach yoga in the summer. But best of all for Harry and Meghan, it's quiet and locals respect each other and value their privacy. They'd fit in very well. The huge 108-year-old residence is at the heart of a prized billionaire's row dubbed Golden Miles. Its estate agency description boasts luxurious living on four expansive levels and a sensational indoor-outdoor lifestyle like no other with incredible walkout view, side terraces. A private guest suite has been created on the upper level, offering more floor two ceiling window views across the bay towards Vancouver's downtown. Harry and Meghan are set to snap up the property for a knockdown price after new tax rules on top, and homes sparked a 16% drop in value in the area over two years. Their near neighbors would include Canadian billionaire founder of the Uber, trendy Moulin Athletica Yoga Gear brand, Chip Wilson, whose mansion is worth $49 million. Yoga and Pilates fan, Megan is known to be a fan of the Lululemon brand. Kitsilano, full of rich and famous movers and shapers, and particularly popular with trendy tech entrepreneurs, is seen as a perfect setting for her new life. The mansion is far cry from sedate. Ray E. listed Frogmore Cottage in the grounds of Home Park, Windsor. The Queen is said to be privately unhappy at the money spent on Frogmore Cottage renovations following Prince Harry and Meghan's announcement they are moving abroad. The royal couple have lived there since their publicly funded $31 million wedding. Luxurious home. Taxpayers also shelled out another $3.1 million to fully modernize the historic 219-year-old property installing luxuries including organic gender-neutral paint for Archie's nursery. Sources claim Her Majesty is furious at the amount spent, now that the couple intend to start a new life in Canada. The couple will lose the $2.6 million a year from the taxpayer-funded sovereign grant as they are stepping down from senior roles. But they are set to bring in millions from lucrative commercial deals which will be added to their already staggering $4.3 million fortune. This comes as they said how they wanted to become financially independent. Despite breaking ties with the royals, it's believed they will still be entitled to security, paid for by the taxpayer to the tune of around $780,000. And it's thought they'll keep receiving $2.6 million a year from Prince Charles, through his private duchy of Cornwall estate. 
Prince Harry is believed to be worth around $40 million, and Meghan was an estimated $4.6 million thanks to her acting career. On their new website, they talk about their new working model and have hinted at setting up a charity. The website said, The Duke and Duchess of Sussex take great pride in their work and are committed to continuing their charitable endeavors as well as establishing new ones. In addition, they value the ability to earn a professional income, which, in the current structure, they are prohibited from doing. For this reason, they have made the choice to become members of the royal family with financial independence. Their royal highnesses feel this new approach will enable them to continue to carry out their duties for Her Majesty the Queen, while having the future financial autonomy to work externally. The Duchess is reported to have never been happy at the luxurious home, where she has spent only around six months, since it was painstakingly refurbished to her taste. And she expected never to return to it once her longed, for Mexit deal is finalized after the Sun revealed its staff were being axed. Prospective neighbors of the Sussexes offered words of welcome last night. Local Stephanie Caros told LNT Channel, I'd be good with it. But I think people here are pretty low-key about celebrities. This street, particularly on this side, looking over the water, is the piece de resistance of Vancouver. Another local, John, said, This street is very well to do. From this side, you can look right over the water, and it's a quiet neighborhood. If Harry and Meghan were my next-door neighbor, and having lots of parties with their friends, I wouldn't be too pleased. The prospect interests but doesn't excite me as I'm not an enthusiastic royalist. In other news, Meghan Markle begins new Canada life with Pilates pal, the Duchess of Sussex was all smiles chilling with a pal yesterday, after turning her back on soul, crushing, royal life. Meghan insisted on driving herself to the airport to pick up confidant and Pilates guru Heather Doric. Last night, an announcement on the terms of her departure with Harry was expected imminently from Buckingham Palace. Several issues may yet be ironing out, but palace officials are working round the clock, as they are under orders from the Queen to come up with a plan in days. In Canada, smiling Meghan was spotted at the wheel of a dark blue Land Rover Discovery, arriving at Vancouver Island Airport. Friends believe it is a sign she feels able to breathe again, after escaping the monarchy. The Duchess has a lot up her sleeve that she wants to do once she moves to North America. She plans to campaigning on issues close to her heart, like the two organizations for vulnerable women and children in Vancouver, where she made her first post, Mexic visits on Tuesday. Outside the arrivals area at the airport, Meghan chatted animatedly for 10 minutes to a royal protection officer before Heather arrived and jumped into the rear seat. She greeted her pal, thought to be one of five friends trusted to brief a magazine, on the rift with her father Thomas, with a hug. One onlooker said, Megan looked completely relaxed as though she hasn't a care in the world. There were two other cars in a convoy which pulled up outside arrivals, but Megan was at the wheel. She looks like a woman who likes to be in control. The pals will spend time relaxing with Megan and eight months old Archie at the $1.4 million beachside retreat, where they are holed up. Harry is likely to join them early next week, after finalizing the Mexit deal which will allow them to spend much of their time abroad and be financially independent. Old pal Heather, from San Antonio, Texas, lives in California, where she owns six Pilates studios and became Megan's instructor, before she met future husband Harry, Heather was a regular contributor to Meghan's lifestyle site, the TIG and featured regularly on her pre Royal Life Instagram account. The pair were pictured enjoying playful Pilates workouts in Panama's on the beach. Meghan has described her friend's workouts as hands down the best thing you can do for your body. 
Heather and husband Matt Cohen were guests at the couple's wedding in May 2018. Both women became pregnant late in 2018. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.